Hi guys, it's Gator here once again. Today we're looking at the medieval village of Maycape. Now I've looked around it a bit and this does appear to be the entrance. I haven't found another one. Um, but it's sort of a cave. So yeah, we'll go through here and you come out into this amazing sort of... Um, what is it? A bowl? I've forgotten the geography term for it. But it's just full of these amazing little buildings and some of them I'm not a fan of, like I'm not really too um, keen on this sort of like the wall set back in the wood, but it's the style. Um, other buildings though I am very intrigued with, or different aspects like this bit here where like these bits like jut out and then drop a bit of light, I'm, I am a fan of that and I might be using that. Um, yeah we've got some interesting sort of rock designs like normally I don't normally see this where people put like stone and cobble in the side and also over here they've put green wool with it which is quite interesting now I think this is the house yeah I think this is the house I was a big fan of this it's very well done I'm quite liking the roof design first of all that was the first thing I saw I mean that's quite a good way of working around the sort of two gap rather than an, um, an uneven number gap but as we are now renowned to do on this channel I'm experienced lag so I'll be back in a minute and we're back anywho this is the house um, not so keen on the doorway I'm not sure what's going on there but I do love this huge window design here and I'm also a fan of this staircase because I've never done staircases like that. I'd have always thought putting these logs up the side would take up way too much space. It would ruin the build and it would be rubbish. But I like it. It's quite nice. Um, upstairs you can see the window design some more. That is just is not as good on the inside but it's still a really great design. So anyway, let's move on outside. Brilliant terrain as well. You can see all this river and the river running through and everything is just outstanding but um, we've got some market stalls here I mean, I'll take note of these because I've got to do a market in my medieval build soon enough but wow I'm lagging mmm today's not a good day for the lag but anyway here we have a good tower look at that while we're here um, these bits sticking out are they're quite nice I'm, I like them but it's some sort of windmill, as I saw last time. Interesting take on that. Um, if you've seen my Viking build, you'll have seen my windmill I did. Um, I like the windmill. Not don't think it fitted in with the town that I made. But there you go. That's life. We've got um, a nice stables over here. It's quite a simple design. There's nothing. Oops. Nothing on the inside really. But it's quite nice. I love the roofing he does with the even number, well, that's odd, but you get the point. So we lag over here for a bit, and oh yeah, I noticed these teeny tiny little houses, I think they're like outhouses, like little toilets, because it's just one space inside, but it's very, very eccentric design for the floor space inside, but again, I like it, so there we go could scatter a few of them around the medieval build but and uh, here's another one slightly different design I think might be the same I'm not sure but again just with the one space inside very interesting concept I am a fan but that's pretty much it really you've got like some big buildings but there's nothing much to them. I can see something in the distance there, but I'm not sure it's part of this town, so I'll leave that out. Um, uh, I can't remember who this is by. Eric, someone I think. Sorry about that. Link will be in the description to the Planet Minecraft page where you can download and talk to him, etc. But I've been Gidda, and until next time, goodbye.